What's the difference between RGB and ARGB? How do you run animations over your complete setup? And what do you actually have to consider when buying new components? Let's dive into the basics. RGB stands for red, green and blue. Those of you who paid attention in art class will know that these are the three primary colors of light. This means that depending on how we mix those three, we can create all kinds of hues. This effect is used in color changing LEDs like those found in PC components. In fact, a color changing LED actually consists of three LEDs in the colors mentioned, which can be controlled by varying levels. And that's basically how a 12 volt RGB controller works. There are four contacts, one negative pole and three positive poles for a respective color LED, allowing the sub LEDs and thus resulting color to be controlled on different levels. However, most devices do not have just one colored LED. What if we want to display a color gradient? Do we have to lay individual cables to each LED now? No. The solution is ARGB. The RGB part we're already familiar with. The new addition is the A, which stands for addressable. ARGB components use a digital signal for this. Although they are much smarter, ARGB headers actually only need three pins. One major warning when installing them, never put four pin connectors on three pin headers because ARGB components run on 5V instead of the 12 volts of the simpler RGB components. But what is the best way to control my colorful components? Many cases offer the option of connecting all ARGB components directly to a supplied RGB controller, such as here with the Shadowbase 800FX. The effects can be easily controlled via the ARGB button on the front panel. If these effects are not enough for you, or if you're planning complex animations across all components, then you can connect your devices directly to a controller on the main board. But with all of those IRGB components, you can quickly run out of ports. One solution to this problem can be found in our light wings, for example. They not only have an RGB input, but also an output, allowing several fans to be connected in series, effectively daisy-chaining the ARGB. Splitter cables work in a similar way. However, the output power of the header must be taken into account as to not overload and potentially break it. ARGB hubs provide a remedy for this. These are supplied with additional power directly via the PSU. The input is either via a hardware controller, which many of our cases and also the Silent Loop 2 have, or via an ARGB header on the main board. Our Darkbase 701, Shadowbase 800FX and Purebase 500FX cases, as well as the Silent Loop 2 and Pure Loop 2FX water cooling system, come with an ARGB hub included. On our cases, you can usually press and hold the controller button for about 3 seconds to activate or deactivate the mainboard synchronization of the integrated hub. Please note the difference between hubs and controllers. Hubs forward the same signal to all connected devices. Controllers can control all connected devices individually. In order to control effects, suitable software is required. Although many manufacturers supply their own software for their products, programs such as Signal RGB or Open RGB is recommended for complex effects. These also have the advantage that components from different manufacturers work together and can be coordinated. All components can be controlled together in the software. With Signal RGB, all the quiet components are already pre-configured and only need to be arranged in the layout. The layout function can be imagined as a video screen that is projected onto your components. The library contains various effects to choose from. The free version already has a pretty big library. But if that's not enough and you want more in-depth interaction, the pro version offers more effects that react to games, audio, your screen or hardware. What are your favorite color schemes? Do you like a full rainbow warmit system or do you prefer a classy black with maybe a few orange highlights? Let me know in the comments.